Hi Virgo and welcome to your Spiritual Path Tarot reading for August 2019. This reading is intended for those of you who are, you know, on a spiritual journey, very spiritually inclined or focused, spiritually gifted, etc. So I'm going to start by pulling a card to see overall energy and message, um, you know, regarding your spirituality and spiritual gifts for the month of August. So Virgo, let's see what comes out for you. All right, so you guys have Ascended Masters, Create Open Communication. Leo also received this card, so if you are Leo Rising or Leo Moon, you might want to check out that reading. But Virgo, with that, um, for you guys, I'm feeling like you are receiving a lot of, you know, higher wisdom in the month of August, like divine guidance, but um, like higher it, it's the ascended masters okay so this is um it feels i don't want to say more important i'm like struggling to articulate this um this is like a big deal um uh, something that's been really weighing heavily on your heart on your soul on your mind um it's just it's almost like you know i'm going to pull more cards but um, it's like your guides want to talk about the burdens you carry rather than like your spirituality. Um, and it's probably because the burdens that you've been carrying is dampening your spirit. Okay. So let me pull some more cards for go. And this is um, what you're overcoming. So this is going to be that burden, the heaviness. And we have um, per chance to dream. Okay. So Virgo, this right here is telling me. Um, and just look at what the next card would be. A black flower fragrant, fragrance. And that's coming from her heart space. Okay. So I'm just going to. Um, put these both out for now because I feel that they speak to each other. It's like whatever has hurt you and harmed you, Virgo, um, and this feels kind of like a long time coming because this is the full moon right here on this card and this is the new moon. All right. So this is, um, like finally you're coming to the end of something and you've carried this heartache, this pain, um, this burden within you, within your heart. And it's at this point, like it's been diminishing you and it's, um, almost dampened your capacity to believe, to hope, to dream bigger than what's around you, what you've been experiencing, even if like your conscious mind knows better, your soul knows better, like even if you're very spiritually gifted and wise and disciplined and all these things, it's like whatever this is, it just has like gotten the better of you by this point. And um, if that's the case, you know, it makes you feel even more defeated and deflated and spirits like Virgo, everything you've been through, like that is part of your experience and now in August that weight is being lifted up off of you. You have gone through the trial, the tribulation, the test, um, you know, the balancing act, walking the line, proving yourself. Some of you this almost feels like rites of passage, okay? So um, it's like whatever this is for you personally, it's finally being lifted the ascended masters are coming in the angels are coming in to give like this major healing to you virgo because it's time to shift out of this cycle and expand into your growth and remember who you are and remember what you are capable of and it, it just feels like a burst of happiness and like feeling very light light as a feather whereas before it just felt so heavy to me so Let's pull some more cards, Virgo. Oh, wow. Look at Virgo. Look at what just fell right out of out of the deck. 
Dark Knight Purge. Exactly. Yep. It's like that heaviness, the darkness is lifting. Some of you could have been going through Dark Knight of the Soul, okay? And that is no easy feat or process. That is where, like, you have to face yourself. Like, every part of you, the deepest, darkest parts of you have got to be faced. And in that process, it tears down your ego. It tears down your identity of who and what you think you are. And, you know, everything that you have have experienced in life up to that point, everything you've established for yourself up to that point may just start falling away as well because the dark night purge is so you can shed the old version of yourself and emerge into like your spiritual self and walk life in a different perspective, a different vibration, a different energy. So it, it's not just like a few bad things happen to you and um, you know that's dark night of the soul. Oh no, this is a process and um, you know can go on for a couple of years just depending on you know how many layers of yourself need to be torn down and fall away and so you guys have been in that process and maybe for some of you this was like a, a major cycle and maybe for others of you this is just like a mini cycle that comes after you know the main um, process forward and it's been hard it's been challenging it's been grueling but Virgo it's all changing now like it's time you've completed um, like a mission, a task, I feel rites of passage, um, great honor being bestowed upon you from the non-physical. So Virgo, um, like I, it's like congratulations are in order. I mean, this is just life is going to start getting different for you. All right. Yeah. Look at now. Look at now. Spiritual companion, Virgo. Um, so to me, this is like uh, as you come out of this cycle and the, your heart feels more healed and you're beginning to feel more balanced, the Ascended Masters are leading you to more spiritually based connections in your life to help you continue your process forward, okay? Oh my gosh, look at that! Yes! Rebirth! Your guides are so strong in this reading, Virgo. I mean, it's just like I, these cards could not be better paired with each other, okay? So, Virgo, yes, August brings forth the rebirth, the new version of you finally emerging, whether this was like, you know, a dark night of the soul uh, or just like a mini cycle of a purge, you know, because no matter how spiritually grown and wise you are, there's always another level. And with each level, you know, once you um, have created the momentum and the energy and vibration for yourself to rise, you know, not everything in your current experience and reality can go with you. So you have a like a little mini purge every time you expand, okay? So because this is general, some of you, this is talking about like that first initial craziness, um, dark night of the soul stuff. And for others of you, this is more of like that purge as you elevate. Okay. And so it's like, it's, you guys are overcoming some heavy, heavy stuff. And like I said, the ascended masters, the angels coming in, guiding you, helping you heal, leading you to new connections. All right, Virgo. So let's pull some tarot dice. All right, um, so yes, look at that. Six of Pentacles, giving, receiving, and um, sharing. And we'll just put that right there. Next out is the Queen of Swords. Um, and look at this. Next is the Queen of Wands. And then lastly is um, the Seven of Pentacles. So Virgo, um, these here feel like these new um, spiritual companions that are going to be emerging into your reality, all right, um, could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, but 
aside from potential um, zodiac signs, what I see with these two energies is somebody who is very honest and wise and also could be a medium, very open to the non-physical realm, channels a lot of information as she speaks truth, okay? Honest, like you can trust this energy. This one here, the Queen of Wands, that is, fire is the spirit, highly spiritual being right there. Um, the energy, very healing, very, you feel very drawn into that um, Queen of Wands, all right? And there's that Seven of Pentacles where you have, may have started losing hope and faith in the universe, um, you know, to, about like who you could be, what could happen for you. And it's like, it's finally starting to happen, Virgo. I love this. This is so beautiful. The rebirth of you. And it's so much better than where you've been. It's like you feel like you are putting down a very heavy load. And, you know, things that you have lost and had to let go of along the way. It's like, finally, there's new things coming in to replace what you feel has been lost. Look at that strength. You have grown so strong, so wise. Also, um, look at that. This would be the card that represents Leo. And Leo also got that card. So some of this could involve a Leo. One of these new people, spiritual companion, could be a Leo um, coming in for you, Virgo. Or this is just talking about how, you know, if you have Virgo, I'm sorry, Leo rising, Leo moon, or heavy Leo in your chart, um, you know, watch that reading. But also this is for the month of Leo. So this to me could also indicate that this is just a very empowering time for Virgo. Next out is Judgment on top of that Queen of um, Swords. So yeah, look at that. There's the angel right there. To me, that's the Ascended Masters. The angel's coming in to guide you, to help you heal and connect you with these new spiritual companions. And also the fact like this person is like a medium, um, a Chandler, very honest. You can trust that energy right there. And look at this. Here's the Seven of Cups on top of this Queen of Wands. This is somebody who's kind of magical and it's like they can just manifest stuff like that and that this person helps you restore your faith in the universe and your ability for miracles and magic to come into your life, Virgo. And lastly, Two of Swords on top of this Seven of Pentacles. So right there, it's where you you know, we're losing hope, losing faith, like you just can't see the way forward. Things just have been heavy, feeling bad that you are getting out of that two of swords, seven of pentacles energy, Virgo. It is leaving your life. And next out would actually be the full, which what's the full? A brand new beginning, the emergence of the new version of you, just to confirm that um, rebirth card right there. So, Virgo, let's pull one final card here to wrap up your beautiful reading, the new version of you. And it just looks like it's going to be a much better time than what you've been going through. And there's new people and new connections coming into your life, which are going to be part of your journey moving forward, which is exactly what you need. You know, things that have, you feel were lost or taken from you, finally returning in a new form. And look at that love charm. Attract a lover, soulmate, or life partner. This right here is the confirmation of these new connections coming in for you, Virgo. And since this is general, you know, spiritual companion, it could just be, you know, another very spiritually based person, a mentor, um, or this could be romance, you know, that is very spiritually based. It's like the love charm is wrapping around you from the angels and the ascended masters as you, you know, emerge into this new version of yourself. And this is the confirmation of the new connections that are coming in to your reality. So Virgo, um, August is a very special, powerful, and blessed time for you guys, okay? <clears throat> it's a time of harvest. It's a time of manifestation. It's a time of completion. It's a time of rebirth. It is a time of connection. It's um, it just feels so fertile and loving and warm and um, you are guided, you are being divinely guided, Virgo, by the Ascended Masters. Like, this is a big deal. Um, and just this Leo energy, I feel 
August is so powerful for you in that sense in Leo and you know many of you are entering your solar return period and um, starting to prepare for your new solar year because the Sun enters Virgo at the end of August so I would say between now um, all of August through September is an incredibly powerful and transformational time for you Virgo where you're really shedding an old version old layer old life and um, birthing into like this whole brand new world and reality okay so Virgo those are your messages I'm wishing you all the best take care